terrorists, we're not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we rock. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the freaking morning, man. Top of the AM, man. What it do, what it do. Hey, TV Land, what's up, man? Hey, it's your favorite host, man. Bunny Hunter BJ, CEO Nino Cappuccino, the breeze there, man. In the building, man. In conjunction, as always, man. Riding shotgun with me, man. Big Uncle Spliff with the double bro cocked and loaded. Kabow! Uncle Spliff DTV is in the building, man. In conjunction with HTX. Current news, watch satellite news, man. Hey, we always bringing y'all that news you can use, Jack. Being different on this damn thing is what we do, man. Hey, um, what's happening this morning, man? Hey, I'm gonna tell you why I was I was reading the comments, man. They say, Cap, I love you, but it's time to fix that squeaky ass chair. <laughs> hey, I knew it was coming sooner or later, huh? Hey, I'm gonna put some WD forty on it, man. It's a brand new chair, though, man. Look, it's a brand new chair, man. I don't, I don't know why I be acting like that, y'all. I don't know why I be acting like that, TV man. It's a brand new chair, man. Hey, but they feel like my shit, boy. Hey, I love you back, man. I love you back. Whoever dropped that comment, man. Whoever dropped that comment. Oh, shit. Hey, look, 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 Oh man, man, hey man, it's it's Monday morning, man, and we back at you, Jack. Pick out, you had a PSA you want to you want you want to speak on, didn't you? Yeah, man, we gonna open up with this PSA, man, this morning, man. Hold on, man, I got I got to get that shit out of my chest, man. You know, nigga, just fucked me up this morning with my own laughter, man. They talk about my squeaky ass chair, man. <laughs> I knew it was coming up sooner or later. I knew it. I said, well, ain't nobody made a comment about the chair yet, right? <laughs> Y'all know how when you buy, you know how when you buy chairs, I don't know, I guess it's the barbariums in there in the inside. That's where the noise is coming from. So I, I don't, I, hey, I'm just going to try to put some WD-40 on and see what it do, man. My bad. My apology, man, for the squeak. <laughs> oh, man. They love you, though, man. They love you. Hey, so look here, man, real, real, real talk, man, real spit, man, real quick, man. I want to come jump on before we start our EPs, before we started this great content for you guys this Monday morning, man. As you can see, man, I got on that rest in peace, long live the pimp t-shirt, man. You feel me? Courtesy of the UT, UTP crew, man. You feel me? UGK crew, man. UGK for life, man. Bun B, Pimp C, man, in the building, man. You feel me? This was a great cat, man. I had an opportunity to meet him when he first came home. We really didn't get a chance to really, really connect, connect, and do some things because he was fresh out, and then, you know, boom. Once you're here, now you're here, now you're gone. You feel me? But, yeah, man, shout out to the late great pimp, man, P-I-M-P, -P, man, Pimp C in the building, man. Texas in the fucking building. Y'all know them horns, nigga, and that Mighty W collaboration, nigga. Watson, Texas. Hey, listen, man, PSA, man. Me and Unc went in last week, dropped some great fire content as we do. And as soon as I dropped these three videos, as always, my numbers, Andy, right up and we went viral. We went viral based on the fact because the individual who's telling the story. We went viral based on the fact because facts are truth and facts are pertinent. So being the fact that, <clears throat> first and foremost, let me say, let me start off with this PSA by saying, shout out to the homies from Antis Park, man. The OGs, man, like myself, G's who back in the days, we went through our bullshit in the county jails, went through our bullshit in the systems, you know what I mean? All that, man. Shout out to the homies. Shout out to the homie Lil John who actually told the story, who broke the story open in the beginning. Him and the homie G, uh, 8, 9, and up, man, you know what I mean, from NHP. Shout out to both of them, man. Ain't nothing but respect and honor to the homies, man. You niggas get on this internet. See, this is where the problem relies. You fuckers get on this internet, and because you wasn't born in our eras, you was not there, you didn't gangbang in our eras, because these stories be told, you think the impossible, or you think this didn't happen, or, or this person is a liar, or this is that, and this is that. Instead of just deciphering with a with your decision 
of not being there and just voice your opinion based on you not even being there. If anything, what did I get out of this collectively that I learned from? What did I get out of this? This was a message. Fuck the stories. See, you niggas get on here on the internet, y'all glorifying our stories. You're glorifying what's been said. Both sides. It don't matter what side tells the story. You glorify it. Then you turn around, you're getting your feelings. So prime example, the homie from APB came on here and opened up, opened up the uh, can of worms and told this story in the very beginning. As you see, I've been on here three years. I never, ever, ever spoke on this story and would have never, ever talked about this story, ever. If this story would have never been touched, I would have never talked about it. This is why I made a promise. And I told myself then, I would never come on this internet, bro, and air out other bloods, air out air other blood neighborhoods. Nigga, do you know how many stories I got under my belt? You know how many fucking experiences that I have under my belt of dealing with other blood hoods and dealing with other hoods where when we was coming up in the rankings as bounty hunters, how we terrorized shit and smashed on shit. But that ain't y'all business to know, man. That's not TV land business to know. I wouldn't come over here and air nothing like that out because I would be disrespecting other blood hoods. I would be disrespecting other homies. Then how I'm going to call myself a real Damu and a real G without giving that respect despite what happened in the past. That's our past as young niggas. We were young. We learned. We maneuvered from there. We moved forward. And a lot of us grew. And guess what? A whole lot of us that fought in the systems. Even some niggas that carry knives. Nigga, we, we like this right now today. We still cool. OG niggas is cool. So we needed the young homies to understand what was going on. So this is why the story was told from Lilith John perspective and the homie uh, G-Shot, man, from 8-9 uh, and up. They told the story based on because they was trying to educate the young and educate the new generation so that you guys will understand how our shit developed and where it all came from to the point hoping we can bring this shit back to unification, hoping that we can bring this shit back the way it was, bro. All unity. United we united we stand, divided we fall, bro. United we stand, da moves, divided we fall. That used to be one of our slogans, homie. That was one of our fucking slogans. So when I told my story, I came on here to tell my version in the protection of the Bonnie Hunters and in the perspective of the Bonnie Hunters because we didn't talk about it after it happened 25, 26 years ago. This ain't something that we talk about in the Nixon Guard or our hood. So we didn't never really, really go into the depths of discussing or politicking on what happened then. We, we talked about it then, 26 something years ago. We nipped it in the bud <clears throat> and we moved on forward with it. So if it was left up to me, this story wouldn't even be online right now, period. Would nobody even know about it. Only the niggas in the streets and the niggas who was there in the county jail would know about this story. Because I never, ever wanted to shed light on this story, bro. Because I knew this would happen right here. Now, niggas didn't jump all on my page from, from the last story, the final story, the final chapter of this story that I closed out on. Giving everybody they props, giving the homies they props, giving nothing but respect. Niggas still want to jump on my shit, unk. With they fake ass, funky ass, in they feeling comments, which I don't give a fuck. Because like I said, if a nigga got a problem with me and you in L.A., step to me, nigga. Get at me in my face. Stop being a coward and leave your comments on here and then say, I'm from L.A. I ain't never seen that nigga. Or I'm from L.A. His name don't ring no bells or he'll. Then niggas can step to me for real and tell me that in my face. Go find another blood in any one of these blood hoods that I call off. Nigga, any blood hood in L.A. and tell me I ain't never been in a hood or I don't know other real bloods from that hood. Man, you young niggas sound stupid on here. So that's why I can't get mad and get on here and go off on you niggas because then I'll be looking stupid with you. You know how many people in the world know me, man? You know how many people in these streets of Los Angeles that really, really know me and know my M.O., know my reputation, know my get down, bro, know my past. What I look like coming on this Internet and I got to really go all out my way to prove to the Internet world who the fuck I am. You niggas don't get wind of it. Fuck you. I don't care. Fuck your opinions. Your opinions don't mean shit to me, nigga. None. If anything, if anybody's opinions mean anything to me, it's those that I have <clears throat> that I have a real connection with. Those who that I've been entwined with as far as my life, man, in the past, present, and the future. You niggas' opinions don't mean shit to me when it comes to me and it's negative. Now, all my subscribers, all those out there that listen to me and follow me, and you constantly give me positive, positive messages and positive things, man, and your opinions, that's what matters to me. I cherish those opinions. But the negative shit that comes my way, 
the niggas that try to tarnish my name or think you can come over here and sabotage a real one because y'all got this this formula and this philosophy where the real isn't real no more. The real is the real. The fake is the real. And you real niggas aren't real no more. So we pushing y'all out of the way so y'all could be indistinct. Just like all my real ones in the penitentiary system. You know what I mean? You niggas would think, oh, so you mean tell me the homies is doing life? The homies is behind these walls, putting all this work behind this shit. And now it turns out to where we ain't none of this shit real? Man, get the fuck out of here. So I'm in the way because I'm one of them real voices that still left. And I speak for us. I represent us. So these young niggas that get on here and these weenies get on here and they make these comments and they want to think because I come on here and I speak my mind. I tell my, my livelihoods like I do. They, they want to call me Superman. Niggas didn't call me Rambo. Uh, niggas didn't call me First Blood. You feel me? <laughs> Niggas called me first blood. I'll go, I'll take that, dish. That's a compliment for us. I'm concerned, nigga. I'll take the Rambo in the first blood. But, nigga, you, you dare you dare not to get on here and tell me, oh, he ain't official. I know that's New York talk all day long because we don't even say the word official over here, nigga. We don't even talk official. You feel me? Niggas talking about, oh, I called it the hood. I talked to Nixon all day, every day. He ain't even official. Man, you know how dumb that sounds talking to a veteran like me. The people who know in the world, man, that nigga got 30 years active duty in these goddamn streets. Just like he said, that nigga's a real known, straight up general bunny hunter about the Nixon Garden Project. How dare a nigga get on his internet and say, BJ ain't official, or BJ ain't for Nixon Guards, or BJ this, BJ that. Man, that's all jealousy and envy. And hey, I, I read, hey, I'm sorry to cut you out, Cal. I read a comment on the last video. They call you the Malcolm X of Bloods. Well, I take that. I you like that one. Yeah, yeah. I take that. Man, yeah, I take that because you can you can basically put me in that category. I'm walking history. I'm walking history for us, man. I I am a book. This is my livelihood, bro. So e either you can accept it or get over it, nigga, or go find another channel. You know the crazy part about it, uh, they drop these negative comments on us, especially primarily me when I'm doing my stories like this. They drop the comments, but guess what, uh? They took what? the time to go click the button. They watched mm -hmm. our video, they watched our content, and then they dropped the comment. Well, you know what, man? Thank you. I want to thank you, man. And I want to thank you to continue to do it again and again and again. Thank you, you haters. You haters constantly keep following us and keep watching and keep hating. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. But like I said, man, my whole sole purpose of coming on here telling and sharing my side of the story of you know, the, the 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 trauma that occurred between us and the Anthons and Millers and, and other situ other individuals in the county jail, bro. Um, my my story was definitely, definitely the same as the homies telling the story, man. It was a lesson and a message. I was hoping that you guys would take that, just what it was, a lesson and a message. And I have to say that. Majority vest of the people did. They took away from that as a message and a lesson and a lesson of unity amongst the bloods, of, of unity amongst the APBs and the bounty hunters, of the history of the beginning. So I appreciate all you guys who took that story and ran with it in that fashion because that's what it was for. It was not for nothing else, not to disrespect nobody, not to glorify nothing, uh, not to put the other side or these people down there that telling my version as a fucking bounty hunter who was there in the flesh, who was involved with the altercations. And then you niggas got a problem because of my leadership. Hey, well, guess what, niggas? I don't give a fuck about that neither because it is what it is. It is what it is. And, and the crazy part about it, that how come ain't nobody out that whole entire two cells that I talked about? Why come ain't nobody in my hoods? Why come ain't no Nixon Garden Project bounty hunters? Why niggas ain't on the internet Telling you niggas, oh, that ain't our homie. Oh, he ain't for the project. Oh, he lying. Oh, he wasn't in the county jail. Oh, no, he didn't make that call. You ain't gonna never hear that, niggas. Because my homies love me, nigga. My homies respect me, nigga. My niggas honor me, nigga. And the niggas honor my leadership. Because it's real, niggas. And any other real niggas that I named off that I told you we grew up with, we grew up together, niggas grew up around me, ran with me, certain niggas followed my lead, nigga. I meant that. Ain't no sugar coach. I meant that because it's the truth. I can't help it that you niggas wasn't born. 
you wasn't from our era and you wasn't from here. So therefore, when it when it comes out from me telling it, it sounded impossible to y'all. But let somebody else go tell the story. Oh, you niggas go crazy. You glorify the shit then. But because who I am, and then I talk that Bonnie Hunter shit, man, you niggas got an issue and a problem with it, bro. I didn't figure it all out. I didn't see what it is. It's the person who's telling the story. Well, guess what, man? Go find you another channel then, nigga. Go find another channel to lock in on, man. Go find another channel to listen to then if it's hurting your ears that damn bad. Because under no circumstances, as long as I'm here, no one on planet Earth will take my name, take my reputation, take my ranking, take shit from me, nigga. No one and nobody. Period. Retired or not, nigga. So for you outsiders out there in TV land and you young punks who lead the negative comments, I don't give a shit. That's the bottom line. So again, last but not least to this PSA message, man, we we both told the stories from both sides. And guess what? I didn't talk to both of them. I didn't talk to the homies. I, you know, me, me, me and young NHP, we just talked last night again. It's like it ain't no friction. It ain't no friction. And it's the whole thing. Cats will leave comments on both sides to try to create friction. So if we're not smart enough to see through that shit and see it, bro, and, and read between the lines with the comments, then we'll be on here caught up again behind some bullshit when we should have never even been telling the story in the first place, bro, because I didn't open this door. All I did was join the merged in and gave our version protecting my neighborhood and my homies because we was there. So, um, the bottom line to this message, for me, um, from a PSA perspective, yeah. was given my experience as an OG and given my experience and my leadership to other leaders, man, and other thorough OGs out there, man, I feel that if they was in a position of pressure like I was at that time and me and my homies, they'd have made the same similarity call, if not the same exact call I made. So I thank God. And if I had to do it again, I'd have done it the same damn way again, bro. I thank God I made that call and I told my little YG homies to tie down themselves, man, and barricade ourselves and stand down for this particular day because we don't got no win. It's a loss for us. And I was not finna have no dead bodies on my name and on my hands. I already got a couple of bodies on my name and on my hands from the streets perspective. You feel me? A shit happening to certain homies accidentally being with me or certain shit that occurred in the past. So it's like, bro, there's no way in hell I was going to have three or four dead bodies on my name from my young baby homies, 18 years old, 19 years old, could never go back home to their mothers they sisters and brothers or talk to their family on the phone, even though they was facing life. I wasn't having it, my nigga. I'm smart enough than that, man. I'm sharp enough than that. So no matter what nothing said at the end of the day, that was the sole purpose of me telling this story overall and sharing this story of showing you guys the growth, the knowledge, and the substance of me as an OG making a call that saved lives instead of destroying lives, big huh? I saved lives and steady destroying them. Every last one of my young homies left that situation and went to the penitentiary or went home and they still alive based on my name and my shift that particular day in that moment. So if damn right, I did the right thing, man, and I would do it again. That was the purpose of me telling this whole story and the message, bro, because I saved my young homies' lives, including mine. How about that, TV land? Uh, since I'm Superman, I, I, hey, I, I saved my own damn life. Saved my life as an OG. My big, my 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 dog, my road dog, his life as an OG. Because we knew we were the two primary targets if the shit would have went down. So as soldiers, as warriors, bro, I did the right fucking thing. And if you ever watch war movies, just to give you a quick analogy before I close out, since you niggas don't know nothing about the art of war. If you ever watch war movies, you ever watch any any structure of war. Who's doing the talking at the round table, huh? The captain, the lieutenant, the sergeant. Who's, yeah. give, who's giving the structure of the plans of the combat that's going to be carried out, huh? The captain, the lieutenant, or the sergeant, correct? You're correct. 
So I don't understand why it make these dumb, dumb niggas think it's impossible. Like I couldn't make the calls or I didn't make them calls and I didn't make them audibles and tell my, tell my young homies what time it was and teach and school my young homies who didn't have the experience that I had. But niggas don't want to get on here and think impossible or say, oh, he tried to make himself sound like he the main man. Hey, nigga, I was the man. Was that nigga? Always happy in that nigga. So I can't help it that you niggas can't swallow that pill. Oh, well, nigga. Oh, well. As long as my homies respected and honored, nigga, it don't matter what you motherfuckers think. Period. Because I know my grounds, homie. And I know where I stand, nigga. And I know the work I put in, man. On that note, man, you tapped into ROE 2023, man. Spiff DTV, man, in conjunction with HTS Current News. Watch Satellite News, man. Giving you some news you can use, Jack. Hey, man, y'all see them horns? The Mighty W. PSA message, man. We are taught to survive. Braca. And we out this bitch. Ha! Yeah.